Greetings from Zhongshan, Guangdong, China. I'm Pat Smith, the president of Jade Molds. We're doing our continuing video series on how the injection molding process when you're testing a mold at your offshore tool builder relates to diagnosing problems in that mold so you can fix those problems at your offshore tool maker. You're not going to export a mold that hasn't been properly diagnosed, that hasn't been properly tested and have to deal with problems at your factory deal with all those headaches and have to try and fix all those things on your own. Uh, we're working through the various stages of the injection molding process and today's video is on clamp. <clears throat> At this point in the video I usually talk about what the Chinese do relating to this and I don't even know what to say here. It's pretty much totally ignored. It's not even on the radar screen. The jade way is a little different. Clamp is really important. Your clamp pressure, the hydraulic pressure using to close up that mold. You, we want to make sure that the mold will close, clamp up, hold plastic, not flash, open up at the pressure that you have available on the mold or on the press you're going to actually be running it at in your factory. And then we also want to assume a safety factor. So let me work through an example that I've got on the board. Let's say your goal is to run in a 200 ton press. We like to use a safety factor of 80% which means I need to be able to close up the mold, clamp it tight, hold plastic, all at 160 tons. I might only have a 250 ton press available for sampling. The press, typically a press is going to have about 140 megapascals of hydraulic fluid pressure. I need to dial that down to emulate this 160 tons that's available on your machine. Uh, simple math calculation, 160 divided by 250, 0.64. 0.64 times my 140 megapascals means I have to dial my hydraulic pressure from 140 down to 90 and I'm now clamping up at 160 tons the same that you would have in your 200 ton press with a safety factor. When we do that we know you're not going to have problems closing the mold, clamping up, holding plastic, opening the mold, all those things. And again this is something that's not not even on the radar screen of most offshore mold makers but as part of our standard operating procedure we do it all the time. Um, also, where we get this information, the 200 tons, when Craig Nelson or Mike Webb is doing the DFM with you and the mold design reviews, that's part of that overall process. They're going to ask you that question. You don't have to worry about telling, telling it to us. We're going to ask the question. We're going to follow it through our standard process. So if you'd like to hear more about the Jade Way, uh, like to hear more about how we do things, we'd love to hear from you. Please contact us. Thanks for your time.